Organizational structure. Organizational structure influences the authority of the project manager and influence that how projects are conducted. All organizations are structured in one of three ways, functional, projectized, or matrix. Matrix organization structure is further divided into three types, strong matrix, balanced matrix, and weak matrix. Project manager authority and organizational structures. In a functional organization, project authority rests with a functional manager. In any projectized organization, it rests with a project manager. A matrix organization tries to be somewhere in between these two. In a strong matrix, the authority is with a project manager, just like in a projectized organization. In a weak matrix, the authority is with a functional manager, just like in a functional organization. And in a balanced matrix, the authority over the project is shared by both the functional manager and the project manager. Now, let us understand the functional organization. A functional organization structure is a hierarchical type of organizational structure, wherein people are grouped as per their area of specialization and supervised by the functional manager with expertise in the same field. This way, their skills can be effectively utilized and the organization's objective can be achieved. The functional organizational structure is suitable for an organization which has ongoing operations such as manufacturing and production. In functional organization is divided into various specific departments like human resource, marketing, finance, and operations. The below figure represents a classic functional organization where each employee has one clear superior. Grouping occurs from top level down to the bottom level, for example, accounting, engineering, or marketing. Project work of each group is performed independently from other groups. Now, let us see the advantages and disadvantages of a functional organization. Its advantages are as follows. It is a stable organization structure. Employees have a career growth path with separation of functions Employees have one supervisor with a clear chain of command. Disadvantages of functional organization are as follows. Project manager has little to no formal authority. Multiple projects compete for limited resources and priority, and project team members will likely to remain loyal to their functional manager. Projectized organizations. Projectized organizations are nearly the opposite of functional organizations. The focus of this type of organization is the project itself. The idea behind a projectized organization is to develop loyalty to the project, not to a functional manager. In a projectized organization, the project manager has all the power and authority, and everybody directly reports to the project manager. The following figure illustrates a projectized organization. Team members are often collocated. Team resources can either report directly to the project manager or provide support services to the various projects. And project managers almost always have ultimate authority over the project in this structure and report directly to the chief executive officer. Now, let us see the advantages and disadvantages of a projectized organization. Its advantages are as follows. It has a clear line of authority strong communications with a single reporting system, and flexibility in trade-offs and fast decision-making. The disadvantages of projectized organizations are as follows. Authority and power can make the project manager arrogant. The work environment can be stressful because there is always a deadline. If the project gets elongated, the cost of employees and equipment can go higher. Let's understand the matrix organizations. Matrix organizations came about to minimize the differences between, take advantage of the strengths, and reduce weaknesses of the functional and projectized organizations. The best of both organizational structures can be realized by combining them into one. Employees in a matrix organization report to one functional manager and to at least one project manager. A matrix organization structure is further divided into three types. They are weak matrix, balance matrix, and strong matrix. 
Weak Matrix In a weak matrix, the project manager has a part-time role with very limited power and authority. The team members are only assigned to projects for 25% or less of their time. For the rest of the time, they go back to functional assignments. The role of project manager will be more like a coordinator or an expediter. A weak matrix structure is very close to the functional organization structure. The below figure reflects a blend of functional organizations, which is classified as a weak matrix structure. The project expediter works as a staff assistant and communications coordinator, but they do not make or enforce decisions. Project coordinators make some decisions because they have some authority and they report to a higher level manager. Balanced Matrix In a balanced matrix, power is shared between the functional manager and the project manager. Although the project manager has a full-time role, he has only part-time project management administrative staff under him. Up to 60% of the project team in a balanced matrix structure are full-timers. In a balanced matrix structure, the project manager is assigned on a full-time basis. However, support staff are usually part-time rather than being fully dedicated to the project. Strong Matrix in a strong matrix, most authority and power lies with the project manager. The percentage of people on the project team assigned and dedicated to a single project may run as high as 90%. In a strong matrix, the project manager is assigned full-time and has a full-time support staff. However, the support staff still have dual reporting lines with both their functional managers and the project manager. Following are the advantages and disadvantages of the matrix organization structures. Advantages of matrix organization are as follows. It has highly visible project objectives. It improves project management control over resources. It has more support from functional areas. The disadvantages of a matrix organization are as follows. It requires extra administration. It requires more than one boss for project teams. It is more complex to monitor and control. The influence of project manager in different organizational structures is explained below. In functional organization structure, the project manager has little or no authority and is often a part-time person that has a part-time project management administrative staff. The functional manager manages the project budget. The functional structure is the weakest of all, in a weak matrix, the project manager has limited authority. The role of project manager is part-time, and it may have part-time administrative staff to help expedite the project. The functional manager manages the project budget. In a balanced matrix, the project manager has reasonable authority. The role of a project manager is full-time, who may have part-time administrative staff to help expedite the project. Both functional manager and project manager manages the project budget. In a strong matrix, the project manager has a reasonable to high level of power and manages the project budget. The role of a project manager is full-time and it has a full-time administrative staff to help expedite the project. In a projectized organization structure, the project manager holds the highest authority and manages the project budget. The project is managed by full-time project manager and administrative staff. 